here tonight. It is all up for grabs this evening in Parramatta. Here to celebrate what is Stadium. Perth Glory looking to take advantage. And they have three changes. Italiano's side has a couple of changes from their last game nine days ago against Al Injury by the end of the month. Well, speaking of goal scorers, Costa Bar. And the 51st distance derby is underway here at Combank Stadium in that spot. And this is where Benny is. The early delivery in towards the box. It spills for Khalifi, who's putting it back to Taggart. And Adam Taggart just cannot stop scoring this season. Eight for the campaign. And that's goals in three consecutive matches for the second time this season. What a marksman he is in this competition. Well, Benny, if there's a shining light for Perth Glory, it's Adam. It almost seemed lost with that late ball from Benny. But Khalifi just put it into an area for Adam Taggart to attack you, as you can see on the Harvey Norman replay. What a beautiful floated ball. He just needs a half a yard off his defender and a perfect strike of the head back to where it came from. There I thought that the attack had been lost. He looked to play it early. Khalifi with a beautifully drifted ball and what a wonderful finish. He calls us Melbourne Victory <laughs> players and fans. What a heartache the time that he was here. Barbarousas in behind. Barbarousas, there it is! Goals in five straight matches for the first time in his career. Costa Barbarousas is in white hot form and Wellington. A back level. We well, talk about, as we see on the Harvey Norman replay, it's that beautiful little run in behind. But for me, it was the fake shot ball. What a great weighted pass in behind. We've seen it so many times this year. Costa Barbarus is on the shoulders. That first touch just opens up the goal. Keeper's probably thinking going far post, but when the man's in form, he just knows I'm going near post. And what a wonderful finish. It up in a key area once again, David Ball. Crucial touch off the calf of Muir, but Kryev goes down in the box. Wellington fans go up. Rufa rifles it at goal. Alex Rufa, the captain, with a huge goal. He doesn't score many. But how critical could that be right before half time? Well, that's just a sucker punch to Perth Glory. Only 30 seconds till half time. And Alan Stadjic would be livid on the sideline. Again, it was Collie. Early, easy possession, as you can see on the Harvey Norman replay. Norman replay. There were shouts for a, a, a penalty. But what a beautiful strike from Rupert outside the 18-yard box. Low and hard, back to where it came from. Not many keepers in the A-League would be stopping that. Well, he scored his first A-League goal last season. He grabbed two. Evans have opened. It shouldn't be around for long, though. Shushnia. Shushnia driving forward. Oh, what a strike from Alex Shushnia. That is right from the top draw from the centre-back. That is one of the goals of the season. And from a defender as well. 2-2 Two -two here at Combank. The distance derby is delivering. What the celebration was, but on the Harvey Norman replay, what a thunderbolt of a strike. We saw it in the first half when he was looking to aim up on that left foot, cut back on his right, didn't have the opportunity there. But this one... Not much Polson could do on that. You'd see the ball was swerving away from him. And that is just a wonderful strike. Contender of the goal of the year already. Oh, that is just magical, the way it knuckles. I was gonna <laughs> and the celebration, as you said, Archie, that just, that could be. Kryev, Barbarousis. Bearing down on goal again. Here is Payne. Tim Payne with a goal. What is going on tonight? First Alex Rufa, and now it's Tim Payne. 
Just his second goal in the Isuzu Uday League. And Wellington are back in front in this crazy distance derby in Sydney. Well, Benny, did you say that was 30 goals? I tell you what, we needed two seven-goal seven matches. Well, I believe because, again, it was Costa Bavaroos, a sleek up play out in this wide area. He saw that he had space in front of him to attack. He attacks it. The ball comes across. No turf player deals with it. And Tim Payne pops up, I think, for his third goal of the season. Just rifles it low and hard. Not too much the Perth players can do. But again, it's this link-up play, combination around the area. A player in form sees the space. Top of the eight-yard box. Tim Payne, great finish. So he scored his first goal in this competition back in round three. He gets his second in Unite round. Well, for their team, hoping they can get back into this one. And here's David Williams with a chance, laying it off to Carluccio. You just cannot make this up. Jared Carluccio off the bench, straight onto the score sheet with his first goal for Perth Glory at the home of his parent club. And it's 3-3 at Combank. Well, you just can't close your eyes in this match. Hey, William, I, I thought that he might have missed a chance there with, on the Harvey Norman replay. But Caluccio, that's his first couple of touches on the pitch. Jinx past a couple of defenders. Ball just sits up perfectly in those sort of positions. Just hit it hard as you can. And there's not too much the keeper could do there. Not a bad introduction. Three touches and it's running out of ideas. How about that for a pass from Rufa? Payne! Oh, there's another! Barbarusas with a double! This man will not be stopped. Eight goals now in his last five matches. Wellington returned to the lead. And Tim Payne saying, this time let's make it count. 4-3 to the Knicks. Well, it's going to be a cricket score. Wonderful finish there. From, as you can see on the Harvey Norman replay. Beautiful ball in behind. Perth Glory haven't been able to deal with it. And any striker makes his run to the six-yard box, waiting for that delivery. And Tim Payne, inch perfect pass. And the fourth cost of Babarusas is in. Just needs to get his foot to it. Incredible match we have here at Combank. Well, Apostolos Stamatolopoulos.